Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Reduce your ping time and get faster speeds when you game at expressvpn.com slash funhouse. All right, let's jump right into this one. So we got to finish it this time. So. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Filmhouse, the podcast that only gets better when there aren't any movies to actually discuss. We are in part two of our best romantic comedy film bracket. The biggest bracket we've ever done in the past. I want to welcome uh, all of the guests and panelists that we have this week. Elise Willems. Thank you, James. Thanks for having me. No, oh, thank kiss, you kiss. for contributing. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Lindsay Washburn. Hi. Oh, oh. What's the hugs? Oh, oh. That's... I'm just a <laughs> hugger. I'm hugging you guys. Yeah. No just the okay. hugs. Okay. <laughs> And uh, and the number one mother hugger, uh, Zach Anner. Hi guys, so great to see everyone. Just a virtual hug over here. Let's oh, try thanks. to. Uh, oh, I love uh, that. Uh, there it is. Oh wait, no tongue. Oh, wait, no Zach, tongue. No tongue. Zach out of the tongue. Oh, all right. Oh. Oh, this is audio? It sounds fine uh, on Discord. Well, oh, yeah. you know, I was brushing up against the mic. Oh. Oh, it must be different. Okay, let's try that, huh? <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, okay. All right, should I pick it up from the top? Probably, right? There was no, there were no cuts, so. Okay, cool. Damn, those are some good bits. They were good, they were good. We can do it again. All right. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Film Pat. What is fucking wrong with me? Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Film House, the podcast that only gets better when there aren't actual movies to discuss. Um, we are on part two of the best romantic comedy film bracket. This is the biggest bracket we've ever done before. 32, I believe, entries, two full brackets, and some of the most amazing panelists we've ever had on this show. I'm going to introduce them right now, starting with... Elise Willems. Hey, James. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Last time we did this intro, you said kiss, kiss, but not this time. That's okay. Not this time. We, <laughs> we also have Lindsay Washburn. Thanks for having me, guys. Fist, fist. Let's fight. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> wow, that got aggro fast. And Just of kidding. course, Zach Anner. Hello. <laughs> we did an what intro before this. We did an intro <laughs> before this where everything broke, but it and we were all hugging the whole yeah. the cameras, and it was, it was really great. sweet. Well, Zach tried to slip us the tongue too. Yeah, Zach tried to slip us the tongue, but then and something broke, and so we had to redo it again. It just doesn't have the same energy, but that's okay can't. because we're saving that. Oh, go ahead. What's up, Zach? That's the thing about love. Once it fades, you can't recreate it. It's true. We're just. Mm, that's true. It's very true. Right? As very James funny. and Elise can attest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have to basically finish this bracket today. Mm -hmm. okay. No questions asked. All right. Um, and so we were moving at a good pace. We might have to pick it up a little bit. Um, but we're almost done with our second bracket. And then once we do that, we're going to be working down one bracket to get to a winner. We're going to work down the second bracket to get to a winner. And then from there, those two winners will compete for everything. Okay, I'm ready. Or nothing. All right, so let's jump right in. The Wedding <gasps> Singer versus The Big Sick. Well, who did that? <laughs> <laughs> this is randomly numbered generator. It created a random list based off the entries we had, our nominees, and then that was randomly inserted into a, uh, what is it, a ran randomly seated tournament bracket. So The Wedding Singer versus The Big Sick. Um, the Wedding Singer... A beloved, a modern take, classic, a modern classic on the romantic comedy. Of course, um, the big sick is is kind of more of the the new age version of something like this. It kind of feels more like a five hundred days of summer 
or like you know something that mm-hmm. like looks at love from a different kind of lens, um, maybe a little less funny and also more romantic between uh, Kamal Nanjiani and Ray Romano than anything else. But still, um, thoughts. I I mean I love both of these movies. Obviously, one I've loved loved a lot longer. But the big sick is is got that. Um, like both movies have moments where it's like, oh, that's like a little bit sad for her, you know, or him. Mm-hmm. But the big sick is like real. It's like real mm-hmm. shit, you know, and and mm-hmm. it's it touches you in that different way. So it's not as lighthearted. Um, and based on know, a true is, story. Yes, so. uh, his own story. So it's like, mm-hmm. I don't think that the wedding singer is necessarily based on a true story. But it, <laughs> there's so it's so funny. It's mm-hmm. so funny. Yeah, and funny is important too. If it's romantic and it's funny, you know, and I some people consider this Adam Sandler's best film, you know, like it so. set the, the template yeah. for the Drew Barrymore Sandler pairing, which we then mm-hmm. saw, you know, at least twice after. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, I feel like I will got to vote for me. I'm gonna go with the Wedding Singer because out of all the um, Adam Sandler Drew Barrymore. Uh, mm-hmm. collabs. This one mm-hmm. is my favorite, and it's like I think it was honestly like my first DVD, probably <laughs> The Wedding Singer. Sounds about right. Now, yeah. now, Elise, I know you're a Fifty First Dates, um, fan. I know that's you know probably one of your top three best favorite films. <laughs> oh, you really know good. me. I I I will say if if it's the choice between watching. Wedding Singer and Fifty First Dates. I would prefer to watch Fifty First Dates because it's in Hawaii, though. Because it's in is, Hawaii. If it was set, if it was set in, no offense, but like Cleveland, where would you would you ever think to watch Fifty First? Well, Dates? you know, if the writing's that good, who knows? Okay. But uh, gotcha. Ray Romano <laughs> is in the Big Sick. Okay, all right. That's all I needed <laughs> to hear. And pan clocks are in Fifty First Dates, but that movie is not in this list that I saw. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with Wedding Singer. <laughs> okay, all right. Zach, thoughts? Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go with Wedding Singer, just because mm. I, I remember that I would think I was like uh, 12 when it came out, and it just sort of like was one of those first movies that like you just sort of go home thinking in your head like oh man i wish drew barrymore could be my girlfriend wife like Mm -hmm. that would be great if i were charming in some way Mm -hmm. um and uh the big sick good movie but i'll tell you what my one problem with it was i could feel the judd apatow mechanism running during the big sick like i could feel that influence on the script uh, for some of the turns and things, and I, I didn't like it. I love the Ray Romano. Everybody loves the Ray Romano being mm-hmm. a little more serious. Really pulled it off, I felt. Mm-hmm. Um, but then uh, just some of the things in The Big Sick, even though it was based on a true story, felt like too plotty and not too based on the story. I don't know. I should be. This isn't funny. Move on. Let's move on, guys. Um, okay. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I kind of echo. I think this one does hone in on, like, the... I think maybe Big Sick is a better film, right? Like, it's like the Academy Award film. Well, wait. Don't get crazy, all right? I'm but I'm saying, sure. like, like, I'm using the term better, not in the literal sense or what it's in the better like oh yes we'll send out screeners of the big sick i think it's great but i think that if i wanted to love and laugh i would probably mm-hmm. go the wedding singer so the i'm wedding singer yeah me too one of those movies all right so we're gonna you, do one had one weddings. movie on a desert island to keep you uh you know from mm-hmm. going insane bringing yeah. the wedding singer would not be a bad idea uh, it'd probably be a porno but sure um and so one hand <laughs> for the wedding singer, two for the big sick. On three. One, two, three. There it is. Easy peasy. There it is. Easy. That was an easy one. Do, you know, commendations. Oh, look, we look, Zach. A week later, we got the blue, oh, blue font there. The blue font. Oh, like that's that? amazing. Yeah. Doesn't that look so much better? All right. 
So this is an interesting one. This next matchup. <laughs> Happy yes. now, Zach. Thank you, Cody. <laughs> um, is that his have, name? I forgot. <laughs> yes. My Thanks, big Cody. fat Greek wedding. Okay. <laughs> this one came out of nowhere. People love it. Um, and it's going up against Love, the erotic drama. I'm not familiar <laughs> with Love. I don't. Where did this oh. one come from? What is what this is, movie? Wait, what is this? Who put this on the list? This is from the list that, that was shared with me. Oh, is this supposed to be Love Actually? Is this Love Actually and it just got copied and pasted wrong? <laughs> no, Love Actually was like the one of the first or second ones on the list. That one was definitely its own thing. I've I never even on here heard of it. I don't know. The only thing that I'm aware of is the, tw- is the 21 minute <laughs> pornographic <laughs> film Love. <laughs> By Gaspar Noé. So oh, okay. You know, oh, we've okay. seen him on this bracket before. When he did uh, Climax, right? Yeah. So we've seen him. Oh. He's he's no stranger to appearing in the uh, in the Funhouse <laughs> bracket. The movie oh. poster is just three tongues, like, touching each other with spit strings. Yeah, so we got three tongues there. <laughs> the pornographic <laughs> film Love. I'm happy to it. <laughs> This. Again, <laughs> a spot that could have gone to something something meaningful, but yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. States, maybe. Let's not be too, uh, too hasty here, guys. <laughs> okay, so real quick, any lingering thoughts on love? <laughs> Zach, no. would you like to go first? <laughs> I, uh, I think uh, <laughs> maybe uh, my big fat Greek wedding just sails through. Hmm, interesting, mm-hmm. interesting okay. theory. You mean because it's feature length and doesn't feature full <laughs> yeah. penetration? Apparently they shot all the sex first, <laughs> then shot everything did. else. Mm. Okay, all right, well. Um, Lindsay, thoughts? It's so funny because when we started saying the, the, the titles in, in this bracket, I was like get, I was preparing this whole spiel about how my mom loved the movie and I refused to watch it and I wasn't going to vote for it. But I think that I'm going to have to go with my big fat Greek wedding. And it, like I, I, I'm agreeing with Zach. It's got to sail through this round. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When Big Fat Greek Wedding came out, it was a sleeper hit. I remember mm-hmm. I went to see it in theaters because it was building up steam, building up steam. Nia Verdalos, Andrea Martin in it, Canadian comedy icon. Got to give it up just for her. Also, I'm yeah. traumatized by my mom chasing me around with the Windex bottle, making fun of my <laughs> teenage acne, being like, I oh. don't worry, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to be like, no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> See, this was another one that but my, still my, my grandma best. was Greek. So okay. they saw this movie very early, my grandpa and my grandma. And they took us to see it when they were seeing it for the fourth time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because they right. were just so excited that Greek culture was represented. And then you got uh, John Corbett, really hot piece of ass there. Who uh, we've seen in this bracket prior with To All the Boys I Love Before. So, you know, he's yeah. no stranger. So, um, yeah, got to go for it. Uh, got okay. The, Yep. Do we even all need right. to vote? Or are we just all agreed in my Big Fat Greek Wedding? We're all uh, agreed. I mean, I was going to vote for love, but sure, we'll give it to my <laughs> Big Fat Greek Wedding. Um, yeah. I love that that happened. Let's give it to my Big Fat Greek Wedding. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Fat Greek. I, I looked it up. I looked it up and I was like, I was like, what? Um, okay. Um, let's move on because we got to get to the bottom of this bracket. And we got to move all the way back up to the top. Okay. Um, Juno versus When Harry Met Sally. Oh, this is so easy. Juno shouldn't even be on this. Okay. <laughs> well, you could have voiced that concern in the email I, chain. I think I think Juno is a great movie, and not in not only because I was heavily involved in its pre-production. Mm. Um, so maybe I shouldn't be even allowed to vote. Um, but yeah, Michael, Sarah, Elliot Page, like it was like pr- pretty fun. It kind of like solidified both of them for the next several years as like. You know these yeah. the young Those stars indie to watch. darlings. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, I mean it's a great film, but I think it's it's also I I don't know that I would call it a romantic comedy, or maybe it is, but like I just didn't feel a whole lot of. Uh, I guess it is. Never mind. It's. I, I mean, it's 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 kind of we talked about this before with Clueless, where there's a lot of coming to coming of age elements. You know, like. It, do we think that they're going to end up together? No, not in the same way that you might think of it in a you've got mail where you found your soulmate kind of thing. 
but you know, love is love, and it comes in many forms, and it doesn't have to be permanent. So, here's okay. what I'll say: mm -hmm. um, Juno, cute movie. I mean, I, I I was just out of high school when I saw it. Cute, funny. Oh, haha. -ha. When Harry Met Sally is such a funny, beautiful uh, rom-com, yes. historical mm -hmm. piece of art. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, it's so good that. The, you know, I can show a 20 year old that movie today and they're like, mm. wow, mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. into this. Like, because the I writing, think best the pacing. romantic comedy of all time. It's definitely in my top five. It's so good. And I just watched it a couple weeks ago because I was Me like, too. every every Christmas I have to watch it so I can cry at the New Year's scene. Okay. It's so right? good. Zach and I were there. Yeah, right. Okay. This is, uh, this is, uh, I think. Peak romantic comedy. You got. You not only have Meg Ryan, Billy Crystal, amazing chemistry. You're really uh, rooting for both of them. The way I, I feel like we are missing a Meg Ryan in our current uh, generation of actresses. Mm -hmm. Nobody, nobody comes close. I feel like, um, and uh, it's just perfect. Great script. Carrie Fisher. Got mm -hmm. your Carrie Fisher. Got your Bruno Kirby. Just so many iconic scenes and okay. lines. Uh, I, I don't think there's any any competition here. No offense to Juno. All right, well, uh, some taken, but okay. Well, <laughs> and I I'm, hate sure you, that, I'm, I'm sure that I'm I'm sure that your uh, your okay. contribution to Juno really again. Yeah, I did have to pick up lunch for the screen test, so you know, again, not sure there's any way that they could have made that movie without me. But again, I'm okay. You know stepping aside for this one. So uh, it sounds like When Harry Met Sally is the clear winner on this. Elise, what are your thoughts on When Harry Met Sally? Well, all I'll say is I'll eat the meal she's ordering. No. It's not, it's oh, that's pretty close. That's pretty close. close. Oh, all okay. Right. Uh, yeah, I uh, I vote for When Harry Met Sally. All right, let's get Is anybody voting Harry for Juno? Sally. No. <laughs> Juno, I'm not. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, I, I like that. I think Juno's great. I think it's a kind of a young drama comedy, and I love that. I love the voice of that film. And doesn't uh, stand a Diablo chance. Cody. But it just it's it's this you know this is a case maybe we would have seen it move a little bit further against something else, but not against when Harry met Sally. Sorry. Um, maybe if it was against love. This this next one. Oh baby. I can't. Pretty woman. That. Pretty okay. woman. Julia Roberts versus my best friend's wedding. Julia oh, Roberts. Wow. Wow, okay. All Pretty right. Woman, again, coming from kind of one of those eras where you just, you're like, I just have an idea for a movie as opposed to I have an idea for a movie that fills a genre. And yeah. then, but my best friend's wedding, kind of like we discussed last episode with You've Got Mail and Sleepless in Seattle, is a movie designed to fill that genre void. And so mm -hmm. they like, get everything going. So, uh, thoughts? Pretty, Pretty Woman, woman. was the breakout oh. of Julia Roberts' career. Mm -hmm. My best friend wedding was Julia Roberts is at the height of this genre. Let's put her in a vehicle. Mm -hmm. And a movie that to me always purported to be funnier than it actually is. It tries to do these sort of like big over the top scenes. It's Cameron Diaz singing the karaoke or the mm -hmm. family at the dinner singing. My, my favorite part of the movie is when she and Dylan... Oh, what's his, what's his name? Dermot. No, Dil Dermot Dylan McDermott. Mulroney. You're Dermot thinking Mulroney. Dylan McDermott. Der yeah. I know. <laughs> Dermot Mulroney and her, they're they are dancing on the ferry, and he's hes singing to her. And it's like such a sad, sweet moment. Um, mm -hmm. But, I mean, I'm going to vote for, uh, what was the other one? Oh, Pretty, Pretty Woman. I'm going to vote for Pretty Woman, <laughs> of course. Sorry, Zach. Mm -hmm. You seem like you had something to say. No, I think uh, Pretty Woman was one of the first R-rated films I ever saw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and, I feel like that might uh, be the thing for a lot and, of people our uh, age. Yeah. <laughs> was a was a big was a big deal. Um, my my best friend's wedding, fine. I I think I like. Uh, I just don't like romantic comedies where the, the there's like a where people are being mean or plotting because Julia Roberts is, is trying to, to like undo the marriage for most of that film. And I didn't like it. I don't like people trying to sabotage each other. Fair. So, fair. That's fair. Yeah. Fair. Fair, fair. So you're saying you're more of a runaway bride kind of, <laughs> kind of guy. 
I, well, if we're going, really, Pretty Woman is is the only one that you, even though it's problematic now, it's if you watch it, it's just like he's kind of a skis ball from mm-hmm. the get go. Ter- terrible, terrible person mm-hmm. treating the women that way. But mm-hmm. then at the end, it's like, okay, well, they'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's most basically everything made before. 2018. All right. Yeah. So let's yeah. <laughs> let's mm-hmm. let's let's vote. Um, Pretty woman, one hand. My best friend's wedding, two hands. This will get us through both brackets. All right. On three. Elisa's already done it. I'm sorry, yeah. everyone's already done it. All right. We're doing it. Pretty woman. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Good anticipation. Okay. We'll be back to this bracket in just a few minutes. Um, and so we're, let's jump back up. And now we're going to have to pick up the pace. We have to determine a winner of our bra- first bracket that will then face off against the winner in the second bracket. Oh. Um, so here we go. Okay. From the top of go? the first bracket, go? we're going all the way back again. Oh, okay. I see. Forgetting Sarah Marshall versus uh, Moonstruck. Uh, I love Forgetting oh. Sarah Marshall so much. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I mean, it's this really one, great. I definitely am going to go with Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Fuck. I gave it to Moonstruck last time because I'm going to watch it, but. Mm-hmm. This is, this is to me, yeah. back in that kind of category of some movies maybe are better in terms of certain things. But if you're going to put something on because you want to laugh and want to be in love, I'm going to put Forgetting Sarah Marshall on. That's what yeah. I feel. But I laugh uh, watching Moonstruck. Yeah, but. Yeah. And uh, I, I have. Some I have some feelings against uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall because forgetting Sarah Marshall is based on Jason Segel's relationship with Linda Cardellini, and I feel like Linda Cardellini gets the shaft in this, uh, and it's not fair. Uh, and I feel like, in a way, it was sort of like, uh, for as charming as a movie as it is, it feels like a revenge romantic comedy and hmm. I don't like it. Interesting. But I mean, who hmm. could know any number of reasons why any of these movies were made? Right? Why did Jane I, Austen write Emma? But this one I know specifically. Out? Oh, okay. All right. And so I don't you're aware like of it. it. So it's, I got it. I, I understand. I can vote without the burden of that knowledge because. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. What do you, any other final thoughts or should we vote on this one? I'm ready to vote. <laughs> I'm ready to vote. I love Sarah Marshall too, but okay. All right, all right. Let's vote. One hand for forgetting Sarah Marshall. Two hands for Moonstruck. On three. One, two, three. <sighs> We've done it. We've split it. Two and two. Mm. You know what that means? It's time for the most important panelist on this whole show to rear its ugly face or butt. We're flipping the coin. We're gonna go heads, forgetting Sarah Marshall, tails, moonstruck. Let's see what it says. Tails, wow. yes! moonstruck, yes! moves forward. Interesting. I, I wonder can't if that's gonna, that. It's gonna set the tone. Whoever really wins, we lose. We're headed. Lindsay's gonna be pissed, and she's gonna be starting to strike mm-hmm. down these really important films. Um, go watch Forgetting Sarah Marshall later. For, for <laughs> there's no forgetting this, huh? You, um, so all right, far, so you have just... to watch like five films tonight. <laughs> no, Moonstruck is <laughs> off the list. It's off the list. Okay. Let's let's keep going in this in this bracket here. So we're gonna do Moonstruck versus uh, Never Been Kissed. Get it out of Ooh. my sight. I don't want to see it anymore. Okay, so Never Been Kissed again. I think this is a similar similar matchup, and Never Been Kissed has already. Taken it beat Bridget Jones, which I think was maybe more of the somber romantic comedy, uh, for mm-hmm. a more boisterous, fun romantic comedy. So you know, I feel like we're kind of in a similar boat here. So I'm really curious to see where we land on this one. Um, I don't know if, if there's anything we haven't already discussed that we want to bring up, but at least any thoughts. This is just a kill your darling. Keeps keep getting into the kill your darling situation here because I love Never Been Kissed, but I also think Moonstruck is. A, I love it. I love that movie a lot, and I've seen it yeah. a lot. All right. Okay. Zach, Lindsay. I don't have anything to add. 
Thanks for inviting me. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay? I mean, I'm I know, probably going to continue to move with Never Been Kissed again because I've not seen the other film. And also, I would be voting for Never Been Kissed over a lot of other films on this list. So I'm going to go with okay. Never Been Kissed. Gotcha. All right. Well, so let's let's just do it. Since It sounds like everyone's poised and ready to go. Let's do it. Moonstruck, one hand. Never Been Kissed, two hands on three. One, two, three. Oh, boy. Here's where we get going. Here's where we get going. We're going to see this coin a lot right now. There's Those no way rounds. that Moonstruck is going to win the whole thing, okay? The coins are coming out. We're seeing them. Clearly, two different sets of tone here. Lindsay and I have voted uh, for the more fun. And, and, and Moonstruck's I think fun. We'll die for Moonstruck. Moonstruck is I think very we're going to be fun. seeing more of this kind of splitting the vote. Um, so we're going to go heads, Moonstruck. Tails never been kissed. Can Moonstruck win this again? Tails never been kissed. Uh, okay. Moves to a head from Moonstruck there. It, you know, it's just not everyone can win every single time, guys. So, I mean, it already good got, she already got an Academy Award, so I think she's going to be okay if she doesn't win the <laughs> film, <laughs> film house <laughs> rom-com movie bracket. You never know. You never know. Certain things mean different things to different people. All right, let's move on down. Okay. Brown Sugar versus Tootsie. This is... <laughs> what a matchup. <laughs> quite a matchup. This is why I love doing this, because it's all kind of nonsense. And I still like how you read the comments, and people are like, how could you do that to Brown Sugar? <laughs> to Tootsie. <laughs> um, I don't even know where to begin Fuck. with these two. I'll just tell. I'll vote for who you guys tell me to vote for. <laughs> no, you have to vote for who you want to vote for. I've never seen either of them. It I just haven't matter. seen what Tootsie. You, you I haven't clo- seen Tootsie in so long. I'm gonna go long. with Tay Diggs again. Yeah. Okay. All right. If that's what you, if that's that your reasoning, that's your reasoning. You don't. Why do I need feel like Tootsie was that. against Brown Sugar in the last bracket? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I thought we already did this. What? It was. It was. <laughs> it was Brown Sugar and Always Be My Maybe versus Love and Basketball and Tootsie. All right. So, okay. Okay. I'm giving it to All brown right. sugar. All right, at least it's going brown sugar. Sounds like Lindsay's going to go brown sugar because Tay Diggs follows her. Um, <laughs> Zach and I will leave it in anticipation. Are you are you guys ready to vote? One hand for brown sugar, two for Tootsie. Okay. Okay. All right, on three. One, two, three. There it is, brown sugar. Brown sugar, new, unanimous against the Academy Award winning Tootsie. I haven't. Well, I haven't seen Brown Sugar, mm-hmm. but I just have a feeling if I watch Tootsie tonight, I'm gonna regret. Yeah. That I <laughs> stood up for it so much. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. That's fair. All right, we are moving along. We got Brown Sugar moving its way. <laughs> well, it's about to get to bumped finals. out. Things. That, well, hold on. We never know. You don't see what's gonna happen there. None um, of you have seen it. I'm the only one that's seen it. You don't know. I mean, Brown you sugar might take it all. It so well. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the other side um, okay. and see if we can narrow down this to the final four. Uh, while you were sleeping, versus uh, something's gotta give. Oh, something's gotta okay. give. While you're sleeping, versus something's gotta give. Ooh, where do I don't even know how. That, I that's feel. tough because I feel like those are both sort of middling. You know, not mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. uh, stunning films, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I don't know. Like I, I almost just feel for- like I would vote vote for something's got to give, just because I it, it's different from a lot of the other films, and I like the two actors. But mm-hmm. it's it's by no means uh, like an amazing I'm, film. No. I want to toss something out here. Yes. Something's got to give is the film where Diane Keaton does full frontal. Yeah. So okay. That's, one hand that's, for something's says, gotta give. Says that says is, that says uh, just a, a little indicator where my vote's gonna go. I I think something's gotta give is just a more if you want to have a fun time you're probably gonna put that on over while you were sleeping. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm going something's gotta give. Okay. Me too. Me three. All right. Three okay, to one, James. So, so one hand for 
while you're I think you were we sleeping. already voted. Didn't we, we just voted? Yeah. Voted. We just well, voted. You guys are ruining the process. There's a process. You're the one okay? that keeps saying we got to move this along. <laughs> well, I just mean you can't just go off on tirades about nothing. Oh, sure, you still sure, keep okay. the process in place. Oh, sorry. So but, we're voting right. on Mama Mia versus You've Got Mail now? <laughs> All right, something's got to give wins that round. Fine. Okay. Something's got to give moves up. There we go. Perfect. All right. right. We're Mama Mia versus You've Got Mail. Good luck with this one, Elise. Oh, Uh, I know my vote. 100%. You've got mail. You've got mail. No problem. You've got mail. Yeah. I mean, Mama Mia is wonderful, but You've Got Mail is perfect. Perfect. Okay. All right. Perfect. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. You said perfect. Well, we'll see. It's still got this a ways to go. It's going to be the shortest whole... fun house oh video ever. It could take it all the way. Oh my god, I'm so excited if it could take it all this, the way. Lindsay, this is just one bracket. It's still going to go against the, the champion other. of the other bracket. But I know I mean, that this. I know where this one's going. Yeah, from. this one's going down to never been kissed, and you've got mail, and you've got mail is going to take it. I think we can all yeah. agree. No, yeah. we can't all agree. That's not how this works. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, never been kissed versus brown sugar. <laughs> What is it? What's the numbers, back. James? One for it's, never been it's kissed. It's gonna be four to zero for never been kissed. Okay, sorry, brown I'm going sugar. With brown sugar. I'm going with brown sugar. Okay, sorry, Zach voted with brown sugar. Zach. So for the records, the records will show that Zach voted for brown sugar. So Make sure you kissed. watch brown sugar tonight. Is and it on anything? You have to pay to rent I will, it. I will watch it if it's free. <laughs> I'll rent it for you. Thank you. Um, all right, now we have something's got to give versus you've got mail. I think we're all confidently going. You've got mail. You've yeah. got mail. And now you've got mail versus never been kissed. Does anyone want to vote on this? Ooh, Is this tough unanimous? You've got, you've got mail. You've got mail. It's it's you've got it's mail. Unanimous. I love right, never uni- been kissed. Okay. I fought for it for so long, and I'm glad it made it this far. You've got but mail. You've got mail yeah. is my number Absolutely. one. Absolutely. All right, so we finished that bracket with you've got mail, winning. For that bracket, it's not over. Still has to move on against this the gonna, other this might be side, a Meg Ryan which we are Meg going Ryan. to cover and get to the bottom right after a couple words from our sponsors. The curators at Bespoke Post have done it again this winter with an all-new lineup of essential box of awesome collections for you, guaranteed to upgrade your life. They've got knives. They've got bags, travel bags. If you're going for a little weekend getaway, they've got... Did I mention knives? Because I really like my knife. I talk about it all the time. (laughs) They've got barware, cooking tools, styling and grooming stuff. It's only the best stuff from Bespoke Post every month, okay? Whether you're doing some cozy time at home with your significant other or you're going to the grocery store and you want to look your best, Box of Awesome has it for you. To get started, take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome for you. They release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. It's free to sign up, so you can skip a month or cancel anytime you want. Each box costs only $45, but has over $70 worth of gear inside. Get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code FILMHOUSE at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com. Code FILMHOUSE for 20% off your first box. Thank you so much, Box of Awesome. Are you unhappy with your smile? You don't have to be. Thousands of people have used Candid, the clear, comfortable, removable, and practically invisible aligners to help straighten their teeth, and now they love their smile. Just like Justin from Atlanta, Georgia, when he was younger, he used to have a gap in the front and on the side of his mouth. Noticed that people would always look at his mouth first, so was looking for a fix. Candid ended up being the perfect company for him. You, can, you can't stop him from smiling now, Justin says. I'm reading his testimonial. There's no comparison, really, for Justin here. So, like Justin, Candid is here to help you straighten your teeth so you can fall in love with your smile, too. Your treatment is prescribed and closely monitored remotely by a licensed orthodontist who's an expert in tooth movement. You'll have the same quality of care you'd get from an in-office orthodontist from the comfort and convenience of your own home. And while other companies use general dentists, that's in quotation marks, Candid only works with orthodontists. With Candid, the same orthodontist who created your plan is with you from start to finish, so you never have to wonder how you're doing or if the treatment that you started with is the treatment you should continue with. It's all continued. The average Candid treatment is just six months. You'll start seeing results way before then, though, and it costs thousands less than traditional braces. So become your best you. Start straightening your teeth today. Right now, you can save $75 on Candid Starter Kit. Go to candidco.com slash filmhouse and use code filmhouse. That's candidco.com slash filmhouse, code filmhouse. It's F-I-L-M-H-A. 
U.S. Take advantage of this limited time offer to save $75 on your starter kit. CandidCoCO.com slash Filmhouse. Code Filmhouse. Thank you so much, Candid. And we are back burning through it, maybe going faster than I need you. You guys need to, you can slow oh, down sorry, sorry. just ever so slightly. <laughs> um, could we need to finish this bracket and then it'll come down to the championship showdown, the biggest bracket we've ever done, best romantic comedy of all time. That goes back to the 1800s, the 1700s, <laughs> even before Jesus' time. Okay. You know what? Yeah. Kate and Leopold, not even on this list at I all. I do love True. that movie as well. Gilgamesh had some laughs. Um, <laughs> uh, all right. So moving on to the other bracket, it is going to be Four Weddings and a Funeral, having beaten Groundhog Day, versus Philadelphia Story, which is oh. just a timeless well, classic, according to Zach. Zach hasn't seen either. I haven't seen it. Uh, <laughs> So I'm gonna go. I'm going Philadelphia Story, no question. Just, okay. Because uh, I bet you it's good. Well, I mean, it's, <laughs> how, how could that many people be wrong? Is what is kind of the question, right? Uh, yeah. How? I mean, did, what didn't this win like Academy Awards and stuff? Probably. I mean, it's universally acclaimed. I and I, as I said before, it it basically set the, the template for all these other mm-hmm. movies to follow. I'm of course voting Philadelphia Story. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's also a win for America. Right. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe yeah. we go back and we reconsider it. That's a weird Catherine Hepburn. <laughs> this is my Catherine it's, Hepburn. Oh, wait, oh, wait. That was a Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> Pass <by laughs> okay. on. All right, all right. Are we ready to vote? Yes. One hand for weddings and a funeral, two for Philadelphia Story. On three. One, two, three. Three, Elise. I'm gonna need you to wait until I say three to raise your hands. This ain't a roller coaster. Oh, it was right. the latency. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, the latency. You guys, <laughs> that's not how latency there's works. Of, there's a lot of there's a lot of latency in that house that you guys share as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Flip, all right. Flip, Philadelphia, Philadelphia wins. All right. This one, the apartment versus Clueless. Okay. I'd like Zach. to hear from Zach on this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think I'm still going with the apartment, guys, because I, I think like uh, like Lindsay brought up earlier, uh, the, the, the clueless doesn't become about, you know, Paul Rudd, creepy, creepy stepbrother Paul Rudd until until later on, I don't think. So I, you know, come on. Well, I mean, really, is there really a vote here, guys? I don't think so. <laughs> Well, let me add an addendum to my earlier thing about that. Uh-oh. Is that uh, and and to Elise's point earlier of there being love stories throughout, like when they're trying to get together, Mrs. Geist, the teachers, with, with um the teacher, the uh, the male teacher, I forget his name, mm-hmm. but there's that whole love story with the the leg crossing and it being an unequivocal sex invite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember that? Yes. Well, that's oh, how I okay. felt. That's why earlier. <laughs> when you were talking about what you were saying, that's how I felt because yeah. I feel like even though it's not one love story, it is many love stories. Um, yeah. And you're laughing the whole time. So that's how I feel about Clueless. Yeah. Elise? I don't know. I, if I'm going to put on one that I'd rather watch, it's Clueless. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. But yeah, it's also on you know, TBS or whatever every weekend, so... You can't mm-hmm. avoid Great it. Soundtrack. Well, when Great was soundtrack. the last time you put on the apartment? <laughs> Five years I ago. It, don't I own it on? Maybe I used to own it on DVD for some reason. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Let's vote. One hand for the apartment. Two for clues. <sighs> on three. Oh. Okay. Whatever. You just All do right. It. It's fine. All One, right, okay. two, All right. three. Hi. I, I can give it to the apartment. What? You're just doing that? You waited until we all voted. Yeah, you, you, it's you gave it to the apartment. Look, I don't know. I don't know. I, I would rather the coin is decide in this situation. Oh my god! Mm. Give it to the co- well, all right. I think you have to go with the movies you actually love. You voted for Clueless, at least. I'm changing your vote. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. I don't love Clueless though. James I, James I, seems to love I it. I love Clueless. I love I love Josh. You see, this is something. Oh my god! That I love Clueless. I, uh, <laughs> I I feel like this is one where. You just did it because 
you're thinking, oh, probably the smarter choice is the apartment. No, it's, it's, but I, I you just gotta go with your heart, especially in romantic comedy. I just hold movies. Jack Lemmon in such right, high regard. Right. Breck and Meyer in high regard too, <laughs> but he's dead and he doesn't care how you vote. I saw. I went to his grave, and it, all it says on his tombstone is Jack Lemmon in. Yeah, he's got. He made a joke out of his tombstone. Funny. Guy. What a great joke. Oh, oh that's yeah. funny. It's baller. Oh, that's great. At least you accept Jack's. Yeah. Or Zach's change. Yeah. Whatever. It, I mean, we all know okay. it's going to win the tournament at Clueless. large. So. Clue. Is it going to win? I don't no, know. no, no, no. We we know what's going to win the tournament. We oh, all know. Okay. Okay. All right. I know. All we right. all know. Clueless wins that round, beating out the apartment. Um, let's move on to the other side. The wedding singer, singer versus fat Greeks. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Cody. Uh, thank you, Cody. Um, yeah, so my big fat Greek wedding versus the wedding singer. Two wedding two, flicks. Two, yeah, two weddings. This no funerals. Is very, this is a hard one, actually, for me, because uh, I w- wedding singer is one of my favorite you know, mm-hmm. movies of the genre. But I also feel like my big fat Greek wedding was such a phenomenon. Like, mm-hmm. basically... Uh, reinvigorated the genre. Oh, there goes Lindsay. Yeah, my camera's gone. She goes. What do you mean oh. he don't eat no meat? <laughs> Andrea Martin. <laughs> just. Yep, we got it. <laughs> yeah, I am. I think. Oh, I was gonna. Say, I, w- I would agree and say that I think the wedding, or sorry, my big fat Greek wedding. You know, we saw the wedding planner go against something like. Oh, Lindsay's been replaced by the coin. Um, <laughs> We've seen we saw it go against the big sick, which was like maybe a more serious take. I think th- my big fat Greek wedding is is like the perfect. It's so close to taking itself more seriously as a film, but still maintains this thrust of comedy. Like it has its ups and downs and stuff like that, but it's it just maintains this pure thrust of comedy. Elise, are you gone too? Oh, no, no, I'm you here. You weren't what? blinking or moving. I'm oh, sorry. At all. No, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> this has never happened, but my battery died. Uh oh. Well, oh no. It's okay. Quick, Google image search some pictures of Lindsay to <laughs> put on the screen. Um. All right. Well, we're not going to see how Lindsay votes now. So, uh, What's, but I think which one are we on? It's it's wedding singer versus big fat Greek wedding. wedding. <laughs> <laughs> he wedding singer Hundo P. Okay, Lindsay's voting wedding singer. Uh, Let me see if I can set up my own. Fat Greeks for me, James. Uh, Okay, Greeks. Zach and I, you're going to vote at the same time. Uh, One for Wedding Singer, two for Fat Greek Wedding. On three. One, two, three. Ooh, it's a split. I went Greeks. So that that means we got to bring in the coin, Cody. It's tough. It's tough. So it's going to be heads. Heads, it is... uh, the wedding singer tales. It is my big fat Greek wedding. Which wedding is better? The wedding singer takes it. That's right, baby. I'm under my desk. <laughs> plugging in. Shout it. <laughs> okay, let's keep moving on. Harry, met, when Harry met Sally versus Pretty Woman. This is a a wild, wild one. Wow. But I think I, I, think I know. Heavy I, hitters. I, I know what I'm, I know what I'm with voting 100%. for. Me too. Lindsay, you, Sorry. Yes. All right. Okay. So we'll just we'll just shout it out then. We'll just do the vote. Uh, one hand for when Harry met Sally, and two for Pretty Woman. Uh, on three, Lindsay, you can just shout. I will. One, two, three. So when Harry one met hair. Sally. There oh, unanimous. Yeah, unanimous. Unanimous. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Oops. I. Yeah, I didn't realize I wasn't supposed to shout how many games <laughs> I had. <I'm> like, <laughs> it's okay. All right, now we're doing. Now we have to come down. We have to get to the finals. This is where it's going to get fun. Philadelphia versus Clueless. Oh, I feel like in my opinion, Clueless already knocked down a classic, a classic, and I would not be opposed to seeing it do it again. It's got a, it's taste for blood. Clueless again, one of my favorite films. Okay. Mm-hmm. Any I'll give it thoughts? to Clueless. Oh, Lindsay's already got the Clueless back. It's two for Clueless. Nope. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Uh, Philadelphia story. This is going to be a coin. 
That's why, play. see, that's the problem, Lindsay, of, of stating exactly. When, when you state your opinion, Zach is going to, he's going to sow discord amongst the group. Here, here's the thing. I don't know Lindsay that well. Mm -hmm. We have never been in a video before mm -hmm. uh, with each other. So I have no problem making her sad. Okay, fair. That's fair. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I, I'm sure you, like, will get along great. And if we were hanging mm -hmm. out in person, I would yeah. feel I bad about I'm this. But you're, you're upside down. I don't you know. didn't even come prepared with your camera <laughs> battery charged. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm going to vote against you. <laughs> Lizzie, <laughs> stay out. Look at this. <laughs> oh, Cody's making some Cody. commentary here. Cody. He, uh, for our audio audio listeners, Cody has taken the word clueless from the the bracket and he has applied it to Lindsay. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, there wow. it goes. Using okay. an old All right. So that's, that's two, for, made... two for clueless, one for Philadelphia story. Uh, yep. Elise is Philadelphia. Cary Grant, Jimmy Stewart. Come on. You. Oh my God. Doing the coin on this one, I cannot believe it. All right, bring us the coin. <sighs> We've worked so hard to narrow down these aspects to really approach these systematically, and now we're relying on a flipping coin. Coolest right. is not Heads no, it's not even in the same league. I think this this is a travesty that we're at this point with the coin. Even Scrooge won best Christmas film. All right, we're flipping. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, we're gonna do heads is Philadelphia story, tails is clueless. Let's flip away. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh yeah, clueless. Eat that, <laughs> Gary Grant. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> it's happening again, Zach. It this always whole happens. Format is a sham. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wedding singer versus when Harry met Sally. This is this is Maybe easier for me, but this yeah, it's easy. easy. This is easy. I fought for, for the wedding singer for a while, and I do love that mm -hmm. movie. Like I said, it was my first DVD. But when Harry met Sally, it's just the funnier, better story mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I, I just, I, I, and it's just, it's so good. I okay, can't. well, it sounds like that's where I'm. That's where I'm leaning. I was gonna go when Harry met Sally. Uh, are we all unanimous? Yeah. Yes. Harry Sally. All right. I love it. Harry met Sally. And now, to determine the winner of this bracket, Clueless versus When Harry Met Sally, no one state what they're voting for. This is, we're gonna do this fairly with the hands, okay? Okay. I think we're all, I don't think there's anything left to discuss, but it's gonna be one hand for Clueless, because I don't want people mixing things up, changing things to cause chaos, Zach. So we're gonna go one hand for Clueless. I, I've never done such a thing, James. Yeah, sure. And two hands for when Harry met Sally. Are you guys ready on three? One, two, three. Okay, when Harry met Sally, unanimous. Oh my God, it's unanimous a Meg Ryan off. I had to vote against Clueless. I had to vote against Clueless. I, I love it, but I think, you know, if we're looking for best romantic comedy, and that's what I'm here for, is to find that kind of purity True. in the tournament, I have to I have to go what I think is a better romantic comedy. And I also am super excited because it means that our final comes down Ooh. to Ooh. probably the, maybe the best final I think we've ever had in this in this bracketing yeah, of any. I feel like they intense. both deserve to be there. This is pretty. Uh, this is pretty remarkable that we've narrowed it down. So, in the finals, vying for the title of Filmhouse's best romantic comedy, we have "You've Got Mail" versus "When Harry Met Sally." Meg Ryan is no matter what is walking home with the prize. She's sitting pretty <laughs> right in the front row. She don't care. I also like that the screenshot we have for You've Got Mail is when DVDs had that little like <laughs> cardboard. Case. I have that <laughs> DVD, <laughs> yeah. So, oh gosh. You know, and again, we talked about how Sleepless in Seattle laid the groundwork for You've Got Mail, but when Harry met Sally, laid the groundwork oh. for most of the rest of the, all of these in a lot of cases, right? Like Meg so, Ryan. This is Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan, clearly the queen of the romantic comedy. Mm -hmm. Showcasing her power, but and then and now here's all kinds of things. I'm just gonna throw crazy curveballs into this. 
When Harry Met Sally, classic, riotously funny, very romantic. But would you rather Billy Crystal than Tom Hanks? That's... It is sort of a Billy Crystal versus Tom Hanks as well, yeah. It's the premise. I, Both got a, New York City. Is this a question like, just, for people? I'm confused. I know what confused? I know what wins it for me, but it's I'm torn because I, I do love both of them, but I know what is my mm, ultimate mm-hmm. favorite. I, I do already know. I'm, I, there I'm isn't a doubt in my mind. Wild card, real kick, real quick. Truth about cats and dogs. Throwing it into the <laughs> <running>. <laughs> Must love dogs. <laughs> oh, also must love dogs. Um How's everyone feeling? Is everyone ready to vote? If everyone's yes, ready, ready to vote, we can Zach, we can uh, end this. I mean, here's the thing. I I think I I don't want to give away what my vote is, mm-hmm. but one of these is just you know one of my absolute favorite films of all time. I know. Okay. And uh, you know I've I've gone to bat for it before, and I just feel like there's a, there's a difference in the caliber of these films if you really look at them. Zach. Uh, Mm. But I would send you a newly sharpened bouquet of pencils if I knew your name and address. That's a line uh, from my that's favorite a, movie. When Harry Met Sally. I know, I, yes. I know it is. I know it is. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, but for me, I, let's, this is going to be tough. Okay, I understand. It's going to be, gonna be tough. tough. It's going to be tough. I think Zach's you know? going to. I think I know what he's voting for. Yeah, I, I, I know, know what Zach's voting, voting for, for sure. All right, I'm ready to vote. All right, so here we go for the title: best romantic comedy, biggest bracket we've ever done. We're gonna do one hand for You've Got Mail, two hands for When Harry Met Sally. You guys ready? On three. Mm-hmm. Close my one, hands. two, three. There it is. Oh, there it is. shit! It is. What? You, Zach, what? Zach, Pissed off, what? Pissed off. Right. He I wanted he was to go to a coin that. flip. He knew he I mean, wanted oh, to go to a coin flip. Man, why on earth? I mean, between, I come on, what? I hear you. I yeah. hear what you're saying. I get it. But I also don't know that the best romantic comedy is ever going to be the best movie. Yeah. I think when Harry Met Sally is, is a, a more classic, it's a better movie but if I want to love and I want to laugh, I don't want Billy Crystal anywhere near that. <laughs> Here's the, I, I, don't, I want Tom I, Hanks I and Meg Ryan yeah. in the mid-90s. Yeah. Never I, I, smile at a good dog. No, I you don't, can't get friendly with a crush. I feel you. like the chemistry, I think this is just very shocking to me because... I get, I understand that Billy Crystal gets a lot of flack mm-hmm. for not being a romantic lead, mm-hmm. but he's never been more charming than in that film. And I understand this is over, but I am outraged and I will be outraged for the rest of the day. Zach, Listen, I got one right, thing to go say. Ahead, I got one go thing on. to say to you, okay? And that is F O X. Fox. 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 That's so cute. Can you spell dog? F O X. Well, okay. Well, all right. <laughs> Listen, Zach, right. you know, I, I hear what you're saying. I would disagree on one point. My giant is Billy <laughs> Crystal at his most charming. Or search for Curly's Gold. <laughs> City Slicks. Yeah. Um, I get it. Yeah. So I just couldn't. Uh, and Tom Hanks is just, he's just a charmer. He's the, he's the, uh, not dreamboat is the wrong word, but he's. You know, he's our romantic comedy. He's what Stable. I want to see, you know? Okay. Okay. I think, I, you know, I thought this was about the films and not just your affection for the actors, but... It's about I the guess, whole package. That's mm-hmm. you've, you've never pretended like this whole film house thing isn't a sham. That's and fair. I just want to say that you guys deserve every fun house is like... This is the end of Funhouse. <laughs> Funhouse used to be so much better. Uh-huh. You deserve every comment you get on that this video because mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. is proving to me that I I miss the old yeah. group. It's I good wish good. I wasn't here. <laughs> Name uh, one of them. It's been a huge mistake. One of the old... Mm-hmm. The, the, 
I want to say Brayden. <laughs> yeah, Brayden, you're right. <laughs> he, was, he was pretty funny. He uh, was great. Yeah, yeah, I, I hear you. Well, unfortunately, you know, it's not about making people happy. It's about figuring out what's best. And we did an amazing job these last two episodes. Thank you so much. You know, I was, I set a tall task of getting through all of those films, two full brackets, and we did it. And I think this may have been our best one yet. I feel really good about everything that transpired. Um, no garbage sifting through those brackets just because. Um, and so yeah. I'm really excited for the next one. Just so you know, Josh Flanagan has reached out to me about doing best military films. Um, we are considering it. He will not be involved, almost certainly, <laughs> if that's the case. Um, no, but if you have other movies you want us to debate, uh, almost pointlessly, just let us know. Tell us in the comments. And uh, until the next time, thank you to my, pa my amazing again. panelists. Great opinions. Zach, I, what's that? I said I'm never doing this again. Oh, you'll be I don't back. want to be associated with this brand. You'll be back, Zach. <laughs> He'll be back. Isn't it shocking? Isn't it shocking that this is the reason why? <laughs> This video, <laughs> nothing else you guys have been associated with to turn yeah. me off, but this, this is a problem. Nothing, nothing Brayden did or said is could possibly come close to this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, no. well, Zach, since no one's going to see you ever on Funhouse again, where could people find more of you? I don't care. Okay, uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, James, you can find him yeah. on social media at Zach Anner, mm -hmm. and you can find him on YouTube, Zach Anner, mm -hmm. as well. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> thank you to Zach, Lindsay, and Elise, and thank you for everybody watching. And Audio listening. listeners, we'll you. Um, yeah, thank you. He, Zach is covering his face with his hat. <laughs> he does not want to be <laughs> associated. All right, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next week. <laughs> uh, flip again.